All right, usually you're out in Hilo. I know, but not I'm jealous. This morning. Good How's morning. it going, fellas? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Okay, so so let's talk timeline, Billy. Right. right. So so and not in terms of the festival itself, but as to what's going on here in Hilo, because because Monday and Tuesday were big arrival days. Yes. A lot of people checked in yesterday. Uh, Hawiki is tonight, but before that, what are a lot of people doing? Oh, shopping. Shopping. Today, <laughs> for a lot of the halal, they are shopping because it's before the competition begins. Mm -hmm. You know, Miss Aloha Hula's tomorrow, so they help out their hula sister. And and but to, so today, the the shopping opens up. And and the craft fair, and yes. so a lot of them are shopping. Yeah. But there are halal that are just kind of starting to get into that zone. Mm -hmm. uh, when we talk about that, we talk about last year's overall winners that come from the island of Kauai. And so they're energetic, they're, they're ready, and Kauai, that's why. Before the magic of the Merry Monarch stage comes the practice. hasn't even sunken in from la what happened last year. I gotta tell you, I mean, that will be etched in our hearts forever. After winning overall in 2022, Kauai's Halo Kale Mokihana Olena Ala is preparing their return to Hula's biggest stage. Take that again, make sure those four girls call all forward. This year, their Awana takes us to Kauai's North Shore with Namele Pomahina in early composition by Charles E. King. Kumulena Allah calls it a love song, and they'll share the mele in full, all nine verses. It is such a beautiful mele, and for us, it will allow us to pick up everybody in Hilo, to pick up everyone who's at home, and bring them to Hanaleng. In Kahiko, they tell the story of the sacred sand dunes of Nohili on Kauai's west side, where ancient Hawaiian remains are said to be buried. If they could speak, if those sand dunes could tell us the history of Mana, of Nohili, of Polehale, wow. Fitting to their mele, the ladies will wear lei paha paha, a style made with limu or seaweed. On this day, Ahuakai led them to Aliomanu, an East Kauai shoreline where they learned about limu and how to preserve it. Mahalo, you guys. Oh, 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 since winning Mary Monarch, they've traveled to Ikaho, Japan, and the U.S. mainland as ambassadors of Hawaii and its culture. One of the greatest things Kumu Ray Fonseca instilled in me is that everything we do has to be at a high level of excellence because our kupuna deserve no less. As they prepare to take the stage this year, Kumu says they're not doing anything differently. We're, we're sticking to what we do, what my Kumu have taught me, and we're, we're just, this year, we're, we're just having fun. And we did last year, we do every year, but no pressure, like just have a good time. <laughs> They're ready. They're pumped. They're good to go. Yeah. All right, so that, that's the competition which actually starts tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Tonight is Hoike, so that's more celebratory, more exhibition. Yes, and so there's going to be a lot of energy inside of that stadium. But already, at this hour, the energy has already begun. The first rehearsals uh, from Halau. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Kumuhula Kapua Deliri Moy is about to step onto that stage and start their practices this Ooh. morning here in Hilo. Can you feel it? Oh, I'm getting chicken skin. <laughs> hey, you're watching Sunrise. On, on the road! road. The Mary Monarch Festival.